Every Singaporean has seen a longkang before, but do you know what kind of animals live inside of it? It may or may not include otters. Well, let's find out about that in our little red jungle. Wow, look, now you have so many plants and animals. <laughs> Hey, hello. So if you're not local, a longkang basically means a drain or a canal. And in Singapore, everyone lives near one. And since Singapore is a city in nature, are there actually animals living right beside us in these drains? Well, the only way to find out is to start walking. So if you're ready, let's go. Okay, I'm hearing some chirping, but I don't actually see any birds. Uh, and I think they're actually in one of these holes. So you know what, I'm actually gonna just camp here uh, and observe this hole for a bit. Okay, oh my god, the miner just flew out. So these birds are actually very adaptable and they can make a nest out of anything that is hollow. And I think a lot of these holes are nests because there are a lot more miners going in and out of all these different holes. But yeah, I think if any of you were wondering where all these birds go to sleep at night, I think I just solved this mystery. Okay, let's continue walking. Hello, so sad. Okay, so all of our longkangs, be it big or small, are connected in a network that connects our rivers and reservoirs together. And with rivers and reservoirs, there will be fishes. And when there are fishes, you'll find a lot of fish-eating animals. Yeah, like look over here, there's a monitor lizard. And yes, they sometimes eat fish too. So we actually have a lot of fish-eating birds around our longkangs too. And one of them is the collared kingfisher. Now, although they're called king fishes, they're actually quite generalist when it comes to the type of food they eat. And it will gladly eat all the other small animals you can find in our drains, like insects or this lizard that it just caught. Okay, and another fish-eating bird that you might see is the grey heron. Now, this one over here is one of our larger longkangs and it is the drain that leads into Sungai Tampines or Tampines River and there are a lot of grey herons here. Now, outside of the breeding season, they are actually solitary birds. So you would actually find them camping at separate sections of the longkang, trying to hunt for fish. Now, a lot of people misidentify herons as stalks or cranes, which I totally get. Uh, but apart from all the smaller differences like how their beak looks like or how they forage for food, a very distinct way to tell these birds apart is how their neck looks when they fly. So stalks and cranes actually keep their necks stretched out in flight. However, herons, like your egrets and this grey heron over here, they will keep their neck in this S shape when they fly. Okay, and as I leave the crane to hunt for its next meal, uh, I'm seeing something else that is swimming with the fishes. And those are obviously terrapins, or more specifically, the red-eared slider. And they are named this way because, as you can see, they have this red line at the side of their heads. And although they are a common sight in our longkangs, they are not native to Singapore. Instead, they're actually from North America. And the reason why you can find them in our water bodies and drains is because people buy them as pets. And then when the terrapins grow too big and then people don't want them anymore, guess what they do? They throw them into places like this, the longkang. But this specific terrapin is actually very invasive and they are even listed in the world's 100 worst invasive alien species list. Now the full extent of their impact in Singapore has not been properly studied yet. But because they are very aggressive when it comes to food and territory and they reproduce super fast, a possible effect is that they may outcompete our native species like the Malayan box terrapin. Okay, so please everyone stop releasing your pets into the wild, okay? Having a pet is a lifelong thing and we need to start educating more people about this. Okay, and there's a reason why I came to this specific longkang today because I know that this is where the Passeris otter family is at. And guess who is super lucky today because look over there, there are some otters! 
So there are about like 10 families of smooth-coated otters in Singapore, but this family in specific would usually be around Pasir Ris Park and the beaches here. Now, our otters have been in a lot of our local news in recent years because they are definitely rascals. Like, they're cute, but they're rascals. And like, okay, you see for yourself, they want to eat this fish, but then they only bite a few mouths and then they just throw away. Like, they're so rude and so putting the fish. But because they're such playful and intelligent and curious creatures, they will always be up to some antics. Like they've been seen to climb up and down the ladders of a longkang, or they'll even taunt a crocodile even though that's their natural predator. And they've been seen to like get into gang fights with another family that they have this long-standing family feud with. So to be honest, it's just really exciting to see what kind of trouble they'll get into whenever I get to spot them. But that being said, I do need to remind everyone to not get too close to the otters when you see them out and about, especially if they have pups in their family. And that's because just like every other wild animal, they might get aggressive if they feel threatened. Also, do not feed them. Like clearly you're just getting them to come closer and closer to humans, and that's the exact opposite of what I just told you. I mean, you can see over here, the otters, just like every other wild animal, are fully capable of finding food on their own. Ah, okay, I think I've spent way too many hours by the longkangs and it's clearly getting late. But yeah, I just didn't expect to see so much activity here today. Like, you know, these are the drains that are just under our blocks, but it's so beaming with life and diversity. Like, I didn't expect to see the miners squeezing in and out of the holes in the drains. Uh, and even the otters or the birds, they are like feasting on the fishes in the longkangs. Eh. But yeah, I think it's definitely a reminder that nature persists even in the most unexpected of places. And this marks the end of this episode. But before we go, I'd like to give a big shout out to my patrons. Mrs. Chu, Mr. Chu, Sportsman, Sky Baby, Ingler, Hedgehog Queen, Kaysen, Pinghu, Master Just Juice, Jablock Tango, Amodilo, Nico Summer, Uncle Sam, Amelia, Cooker Spider, Lowly Lie, Big Three Circles, Amy, Noah Angel, and Amy. Ooh, I made a rap out of it. <laughs> yes, thanks for supporting this channel directly. And if you would like to do the same, you can find the link to my Patreon down in the description below. Do also follow me on all my other social media platforms and subscribe to watch more videos of our local ecology. Thanks again for watching and remember, keep your eyes peeled because it is a jungle in the Longkang. Wow, oh, so thematic right? Okay, bye.